Hello, my name is Zed, welcome to the Shovel Warehouse. We're going to play a game that makes me wish I was in a coma. This week it's Crazy Frog Racer, a 2005 PlayStation 2 game based on a ringtone of all things. Once appearing on British television up to 2,378 times a day, the Crazy Frog stormed mobile phones, TV ad spots and the European pop charts, with an almost offensive remix of Axel F from Beverly Hills Cop. This is sadly the first of two video games based on the annoying thing, which is its official name, and it plays on the themes of the adverts, including robots on hover bikes or something, I actually don't know. You can look it up on YouTube if you're particularly mad at your ears. Let's do it. This game is apparently made by Neko Entertainment. No idea who they are, but I presume they must still be employed if they make such fine quality games as well as digital jesters. So far, not obnoxious. Oh, there it is. I wondered how long that would take. And it didn't take very long at all, did it? Well, there it is. That's the annoying thing. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what this is. It's... Somebody in a hood. There's the robot from the music video. And a couple of hoodies. And some people, I guess these are the other races. Was that a chef? Is that a cow? The mooing would suggest it's a cow. I, what am I doing? What is this going to be like? I'm not expecting greatness. In case you were wondering. Here's the title screen. The music is already amazing. I guess we'll go one player. Our options are one player, two player, in case you want to inflict this on another human being. Records, options, I don't even want to look at the jukebox. Championship, single race, time trials. Let's do a single race. First of all. No, screw it, let's go straight for the championship. We can choose from the annoying thing. Ellie, who... Looks like a reject from Space Channel 5. Flash, who's one of the hoodies. I presume he's some sort of street smart rap person. Jack, who's wearing rollerblades and has a sledge. Or actually looks like a vacuum cleaner, but like an industrial one. Drone, which is the, the villain from the music videos. Grim, who doesn't have a face. And I guess is the Reaper. Bobo, who's a fat ninja. I don't know I don't know where that ties in. And Michelle, who of course is a French chef. Because it's a frog. And what could make this game better than a bit of stereotypical cliche nonsense? Let's pick him because his job seems to be killing the damn thing. Let's put it on normal. We've got baby cup. We can only play baby cup. The other options are funny cup. I'll be the judge of that. Crazy cup and special cup. I already feel like I've won the special cup just by playing. There's a lot of loading involved. This must be what it looks like. I've looked over the controls, so hopefully I do know what I'm doing. Here we go. And we're away. And I immediately hate it because it's really, really, really twitchy. That's, I guess, I don't, oh, oh my god. Come here. Now I know I read the instruction manual and you pick those things up. and they let you use the weapons on the side. Not that I know what the weapons are. This track is horrible. The controls are horrible. Everything is horrible. There doesn't seem to be any design that's happened. It's just strung together. <coughs> I'm being overtaken by a hoodie. I'm in mid-air again. Uh, let's try and use some weapons. What's this? 
I don't know what that was. I think something exploded. Okay. Come here. What about that one? Oh, he has a shield. Brilliant. He still has a shield. The shield seems a bit overpowered. Oh my gosh! There's some serious firepower. I think I just shot her. I'm off the track. I'm just going to aim for that part. Oh. I guess you can't just fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Which is quite annoying. Which I guess makes sense. And everything is exploding. Uh, that's a shield. This, I guess, is a speed boost. So we'll try that. There we go. Now I'm in midair and I can't see anything. And I <laughs> don't... I've just gone through the barrier of reality. Which seems quite appropriate, given the game. There is no design to the tracks. You just kind of go. They're also incredibly long. That was lap number... Was that lap one? That was lap two. That was lap two, so I'm on lap three now. And I'm in fifth. And this is on normal, on the first cup. This isn't going to end well. I just hit the floor. Really, really, really hard. You just... You fly off at, like, the slightest touch. It's just owing. We're not going to get any food for our restaurant if this keeps up. There is going to be an empty menu at Café Michel. I mean, if he's French, I presume whatever world this is set in has a France. So I don't know... Oh, was that it? That was it. And I came in fifth. Brilliant start. We get some... We still have to listen to the ding, 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 ding noises. It's like their way of punishing you for being terrible. I lost to the kid with the rollerblades and the vacuum cleaner. I guess we'll do the next race. Why not? In for a penny? Can't get much worse, can it? I shouldn't have said that. That noise is horrific. That is the ringtone, in case you were somehow blissfully unaware. There we go. Alright, I've got a strategy. I'm going to see if I can employ my strategy. See, I'm... Oh, oh, that's a... You don't have time to react at all, and it's like, well... I'd like to learn the courses. But... They're so long from the looks of it, and so random, that no one's going to... Oh, brilliant. He has a laser. I have a laser. Come here. What I can do, I think... See, the problem is you, you watch... Oh, oh. See, at that part, you have to go off the track to advance in a game that willfully throws you off the track. The controls are horrific. It's like... Imagine Wipeout, except... There are no walls. And the slightest breath on the analog stick sends you careering to the side. Just just the, the most narrow of touches. Just a little nudge. And we're off. Alright, so here we are in first. Brilliant. Now I'm just gonna... I presume, from the looks of it, I can just spam. As long as I've got enough of these things. I can just... Spam... Them. And maybe that'll keep me in first. Because everybody behind me will just keep hitting me. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Pro strats. Crazy frog for Evo. This doesn't even seem that crazy. It's not crazy. It's 
It's not a good kind of crazy. It's kind of like when someone tells you that their friend, you absolutely have to meet their friend because he's just so crazy and then you meet him and he's just got a bald patch in the middle and then two ginger tufts either side and he's sucking on a plastic spoon holding up a little plush penguin that he's named Frank and he tells you jokes that he found on Cicopedia. It's that kind of crazy. It's the kind of crazy that just gets tedious very, very quickly. I am already bored of playing this. But on the plus side, I am winning. Figuratively speaking. You know, within the context of the game, I'm winning. Because really, anyone actually playing this game has already lost. There's like neon billboards for things. I don't know what they're advertising. I think that one says office. How can anyone get any work done? When there's a robot, this universe's manifestation of death, and an innocent looking Space Channel 5 protagonist. Oh, oh no, oh, right, that's bad. Somehow I'm still in first, so my plan is obviously working. Just just get into first, and then explode. No, um, just keep spamming the explodey things. And win! Look at that, I got a smiley face little robot dude. So obviously my strategy worked to perfection, didn't it? Check back in part two, and we'll see if we can continue Michelle's dominance of the world's most annoying creature.